Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this right trapezoid as you can see in this figure. And now we are going to calculate the area and the perimeter of this figure. And here's the definition of a trapezoid. It is a four-sided flat shape that has a pair of parallel side as you can see these ones and moreover this is a right trapezoid because we got at this 90 degree angle so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's draw a right triangle EAD by just dropping this uh, perpendicular ED as you can see over here and here's our much nicer looking diagram and we know that this total distance is 17 and this much is 11 so the difference EA is going to be 6 units and now let's focus on this rectangle EBCD and here's the definition of rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. So that means these two opposite sides, BC and DE, are equal in length and are parallel. And likewise, these the other sides as well and in this next step let's focus on our right triangle EAD and we are going to find this length ED and here we are going to use the trigonometric ratios and as we can see that we are going to use tangent which is equal to opposite over adjacent in our case this angle is 50 degrees so this side is our adjacent and this side is our opposite so therefore we can write tangent of 50 degrees in our case opposite is ED divided by AE which is our adjacent and we know that our tangent 50 is approximately equal to 1.192 let's go ahead and replace that one 1.192 equals to ed divided by ea in our case adjacent is 6 let's go ahead and multiply both side by 6 to isolate this ed this thing is gone so therefore ED length turns out to be approximately equal to 7.152. So thus our length ED turns out to be 7.152. And now in this next step let's focus once again on this right triangle EAD. And this time we are going to find the length of this side length AD and once again we will be using this trigonometric ratios and this time we will be using this cosine equal to adjacent over hypotenuse in our case our adjacent is AE this is our adjacent and AD is our hypotenuse therefore we can write cosine of 50 degrees equals to EA which is our adjacent divided by hypotenuse is AD. Let me go ahead and make it a fraction on the left hand side just by just putting one underneath and let's cross multiply and then we are going to get AD times cosine of 50 degrees equal to E A and we know that cosine of 50 degrees is approximately equal to 0 0.643 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks A D times 0 
six four three equal to a e in our case is six. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by zero point six four three and this side zero point six four three to isolate this a d. So therefore our a d value turns out to be approximately equal to nine point three three four. So thus our side length AD turns out to be 9.334. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this right trapezoid. And here's the formula for the area of the trapezoid. Area equals to A plus B times H divided by 2. And here the value of A, the long base is 17. The short base is 11 and the height is 7.152. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So area equal to 17 plus 11 times H is 7.152 divided by 2. That is going to give us 28 times 7.152 divided by 2. So after all that calculation, area is approximately equal to 100.13. So thus the area of this right trapezoid turns out to be approximately equal to 100.13 square units. And now in this next step, we are going to calculate the perimeter of this right trapezoid now. Before going any further, we know this side length ED equal to this side length BC. This is 7.152. So this has got to be 7.152 as well. And we know that the perimeter is just simply the length of this boundary of this trapezoid. So perimeter equals to AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the perimeter is going to be equal to 17 plus 7.152 plus 11 and then plus 9.334 and if we add all these numbers our perimeter turns out to be approximately equal to 44.49 and here's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.